Hey guys, what's up? By Sacktron here from One Hive Gazette, here with my next war recap video, and this is the one against Above and Beyond QQ. Just a random matchup in the middle of the week, and uh, level 10 clan, so pretty solid. Um, they're obviously a fair play war clan. Uh, well, at least I assume so. They put it in their description and uh, said good luck to us. So it looks like a good family of clans. Uh, so if you're looking for a clan, I guess I would recommend them. Uh, although I don't know much about them, just uh, had a great war uh, within four stars. Um, as far as what they did to our bases, uh, they got all the tens, two starred except for Chaos, and then they left me and one other Town Hall 9 two starred. Uh, Little Thor, great job by him. Let's take a look real quick at the defenses we had. Um, you can see Little Thor winning, or not winning any defenses, but the best they did out of four attacks was get 68%. Uh, so awesome job to Thor with that base um, on his mini account. Great job. But anyway, uh, as far as what we did, they had a Town Hall 11, which we got two-starred. Along with the 10s, we got one Town Hall 10 three-star, and then all the Town Hall 9s in below three-starred. I, I don't think there were any 8s in this war. We might have had one 8, but they didn't have any, so I'm not going to be able to show any Town Hall 8 attacks. But um, when, when I do get a, a war with some Town Hall 8s, I'll be sure to show that, because I know you guys still want to see the Town Hall 8s. Um, but just recently we haven't had a whole lot of action uh, below Town Hall 9. Let's start with looking at the first attack. Um, this is Plow. I, I don't know if he re-changed his name to this or if this is just another account, but whatever reason, it's the same guy. Erotic is Plow, so uh, coming in here, getting the 2-star on a Town Hall 11. And this is important, even if we do have a Town Hall 11 in these wars, um, the Town Hall 11 is better spent trying to 3-star the Town Hall 10s. Uh, so a town, town Hall 10s, if they can 2-star the Town Hall 11s, that's very valuable for a clan. It frees up the Town Hall 11 attacks to be used uh, for 3-star attempts because obviously they have a much better chance of 3-starring a Town Hall 10 than a Town Hall 10 does. Uh, so Arata coming in here. I love the poison placement. Dropping it there so the balloon is going to uh, get taken out before it gets to the queen. That way it doesn't have to pop the queen's ability uh, because obviously she's stuck in the Lava Hound for a while. So balloon goes down. Lava Hound busts. Uh, drops a few minions to help the queen out. Uh, doesn't have to use her ability or anything. Continues on the walk. Uh, drops a few wall breakers to let her in a little bit deeper into the base. Um, right here, it, you'll, you'll see in a moment... Um, he doesn't want to let his queen all the way in quite yet uh, because she, he wants her to step up and take out the eagle. And uh, if she busts in right here, basically what's going to happen is the inferno is going to lock onto her and she might not get the eagle taken out in time. So he wants to let her in at the bottom of the base where she can take out the eagle without the inferno's targeting her. So right here, he does drop a few wall breakers, um, but I'm pretty sure the main purpose is to uh, just let the queen continue to the bottom doesn't want her to go up into the top of the base right here. Uh, so Queen continues on her walk right here. Archer Tower is locked on, but that's pretty much it. So no need for any kind of rage or ability. Uh, she's being healed up just fine. Drops in the rest of these wall breakers. They do go a little bit wacky on him, uh, but eventually they bust through this wall. She does have to beat through one wall to get to that next compartment, though. Uh, but no big deal. Just a few shots. It goes down, and she's going to come into the bottom of the base. Perfect uh, execution here. Comes into the bottom. The Infernos can't target her. Now, the Eagle does wake up because uh, Plow dropped the Quake spell. And uh, as you guys know, troops and spells both uh, count towards activating it. So I guess enough stuff was dropped that the Eagle activates. Locks onto the Queen. Starts giving her a, a little bit of damage. And uh, a few point defense starts to get on her as well. So it goes ahead and pops the ability. Uh, smart here. Even the Air Sweeper was pushing the healers back. Uh, so gets the Eagle taken out. The Queen does go down because the Inferno gets on her. But her job is done. She took out you know, 40% of the base. Plus uh, cleared a way to the Town Hall. Plus got the Eagle. So basically this is now a Town Hall 10 base. Minus the Warden. But you know the Warden's kind of garbage on defense. So it's basically attacking a Town Hall 10 base. Uh, with half of it already gone. Uh, so drops two freezes. Great value. You get to getting Infernos, Heroes, Teslas, Expos. Just bunch of stuff with the freezes and then comes in with a few wizards on the backside to get the town hall to back up his quick kill squad and then the golems and pekas keep moving forward uh has the king still going and uh, he actually runs out of time his troops don't die so getting a very high percentage two star had the time not run out he might have gotten up to like 70 percent uh, but just great execution great plan 
And uh, that's a good good way to do it, is to send the kill squad in behind the queen, because she's basically clearing out a path to the town hall on her queen walk, but uh, not the best placement of the eagle by this guy anyway. You want to have the infernos kind of guard the eagle from a queen walk, and this guy's infernos were too far north, uh, so the queen could come into the south and take out the eagle pretty easily, but still good execution, always hard to two-star a town hall 11 as a town hall 10, so awesome job to plow there. All right, let's take a look at the uh, the Town Hall 10 attack that went for a 3-star. And this is a pretty substantial base. Um, looks like pretty much maxed out for the most part, uh, besides the hero levels are 30-30. Uh, but max defenses for the most part, I don't think the cannons aren't maxed. Uh, but besides that, everything's pretty much maxed out. And an anti 3-star base, uh, which with a, a solid setup, not an easy uh, base to 3-star by any means. So Pendragon coming in here with the queen walk, uh, just breaking the funnel at the top there, letting her go down to the right side, and gets the sea sealer with a hog. Um, again, drops that poison, but a little bit early on the poison, and what's going to happen is the balloon is not going to be taken out because the poison's going to wear off, and uh, the balloon will get a drop off on the queen. So it does take a bit of damage right here in just a moment, uh, but I think uh, the lava hound pops, and then I think he pops the queen's ability right here because uh, he can't afford for her to... Oh, no, the queen actually does take out the balloon. Um, yeah, I th no, she's good because uh, the lava pups go down, the healers are on her, and she's going back to full health pretty much because only one cannon's on her. Uh, the second cannon does lock on, though, drops the rage just out of caution and kind of needs it, I guess, because, like I said, the two cannons on her is quite a bit. Uh, those high-level cannons are pretty difficult to deal with, even though they're not completely maxed out. Um, so Queen continues on her walk, uh, right here, dropping in a few wall breakers to let that golem in. Um, Queen's going to meet up with the, everything else right here and enter into the base. Drops the jump down uh, to let everything keep moving forward. Has the king coming in nice and late. Uh, doesn't want him taking too much damage until he has to deal with the queen. Uh, drops a nice rage there to get everything moving faster and getting more damage out. And then the freeze for the inferno. Uh, the queen's going to step up. She's going to get stuck on some high HP. But the king goes in and takes out the defensive queen. Um, so right now, two air defenses are down, plus the queen. And his queen's going to get that inferno tower in just a moment. Uh, as soon as the town hall goes down, she's locked onto it. Um, so the freeze paid off, allowed the queen, uh, bought her time to get to the Inferno, and now she's going back up to full health pretty much, just because uh, with the Inferno gone, nothing's going to stop her from being healed back up, just the one cannon on her, uh, so she's going to continue on her walk, getting more value. Meanwhile, starts in with the air attack, two Lava Hounds, um, then some balloons, but the backside of this base is pretty vulnerable, the defenses are lined up kind of nicely, uh, so the balloons can just kind of waltz their way through, uh, has the the haste spell to let things go from that air defense to the inferno a little bit early on the haste spell nothing's really using it yet um but i believe they do get in it in just a moment has the freeze for the inferno probably a little bit early on that too but not not that bad i guess the balloons are on the inferno only a few seconds after it wakes back up and then uh right here the queen stepping up still getting value for her she's taking out the expo she'll go to the sweeper in just a moment that last, last Lava Hound does explode, uh, but the Queen's on the air defense. It goes down, and then has a few balloons left to get over to that Archer Tower. So just huge value for his Queen here. She's taken out probably half the base on her own easily, and then has Lava Pups to help with cleanup. That's a three-star awesome attack to Pendragon. All right, now I'm going to go down to some Town Hall 9 action, um, starting with number, number 5, I believe. We're going to take a look at both of XM's attacks because he always brings just the craziest attacks, always fun to watch. Uh, not the typical hogged attacks or balloon attacks you see. Um, Coming in here with another 7 healer attack, uh, dropping 4 of the healers on the queen. Going to let her step up and take out a few defenses and continue on her way around. The funnel is kind of naturally made right there. She'll take out that dark spell factory, then head uh, off to the right side. So no need to spend too many troops trying to funnel her uh, in any one direction. And then she'll step up, take out that cannon, and then continue on her walk, getting three-point defense at the start. Very good value, and she's going to continue walking her way around. Um, has a P.E.K.K.A. in the CC, which will drop uh, behind these giants in just a moment. Uh, basically, the goal is to you know get in here, uh, go compartment by compartment, taking things out, having the healers get a lot of value. And right here, the queen's going to step up and take out that air defense, so doesn't have to worry about any of those seven healers getting targeted. Because obviously a big um, uh, danger with this attack is that your healers will get targeted by an air defense, uh, but the queen takes that one out 
and now the nearest ones all the way into the core. So healers are in pretty good shape for right now at least. Drops the king, uh, the P.E.K.K.A., few wizards. Then the, the giants do take the long way around and go to that mortar, but a nice adaptation right here drops the jump uh, to let everything kind of meet back up into the core section of the base, I guess, to that next compartment. Because uh, things were starting to walk around, but right here, uh, they're going to make their way back in. That P.E.K.K.A. comes back in uh, for one reason or another. Has the poison for the CC troops, the king, the giants, everything moving forward. The queen, um, those raged healers are going to do a lot of healing. The P.E.K.K.A., the king, they're all staying at full health right now. Um, the air defense does get a few shots off, but like I said, seven healers. Um, that's still a lot of uh, HP. So even an air defense on the healers isn't going to do that much damage. And that one air sweeper is pushing them back, so they're staying out of range for the most part. Um, healing that peck up to full health. Now surgical hogs uh, on these all these distracted defenses has one heal for his hogs, uh, but the king's going in tanking anyway, so the hogs aren't don't really even need the heal just because everything's tanking so nicely. The queen just walking her way into the core, uh, taking out more defenses. The peck is at full health. Just in this attack, it seems like nothing ever dies. It's just like your troops are immortal throughout the entire attack. Um, king, queen, hogs, Pekka, still has wizards. Um, just awesome attack. Uh, crushes it here. Uh, right, The uh, hogs do peter out towards the end, uh, so he has to wait for his queen to get through the wall here. Um, doesn't have another jump spell, but doesn't need it. The Pekka's still at full health if he needs uh, the Pekka, but just so many troops left up, it's crazy. We'll fast forward just because it takes a while to get through the wall, but right there, the queen steps up, takes out the last few defenses, and the wizards take out that archer tower. So awesome attack to XM, uh, getting the three star with a cool strategy. Always fun to watch this seven healer Pekka attack, whatever you want to call it. Um, all right, next one, number seven. XM again. I told you we were showing both his attacks. Um, this is that other strategy that you see a lot, and it works well for bases that have these dead zones. So you can see right kind of in the middle there, there's the uh, that little space that has the four little walls in it. Um, that's kind of just to try to separate the base, compartmentalize it a little bit better, and spread it out. But um, by doing that, you're kind of eliminating a big potential section of defenses. So it's kind of hard to explain, but these type of bases are more susceptible to this strategy. Uh, where you drop down some golems, just kind of do a surgical golem attack, working your way around the base here. Uh, so XM comes in with, I believe, three golems, uh, drops the poison, his, his hero's making their way through, and then has a bunch of wizards. Comes in with that next golem, more wizards, uh, everything's being tanked for, the wizards are going to step up and start taking out the defenses, uh, so getting great value here, and then he lets that next golem on into the base, so he'll drop a jump, uh, which will let things keep moving forward. Uh, you can see that first jump went down and let the things out of the first compartment and into the next one. And like I said, there's nothing in that dead zone space, so there's nothing flanking his kill squad. The golems are out in front. Um, that's what really allows this attack to be powerful, is there's nothing flanking the kill squad. They're just making their way around the base in a circular fashion, and there's nothing really in the middle there to target the queen or the wizards, because you can see the golems are, are out in front, and if there was stuff in the middle, they'd be targeting the queen and the wizards, uh, but there's not. So that, that's allowing the golems to really do all the tanking and get the most value for the wizards and the queen. Uh, so drops that next jump spell. Doesn't even need that last jump spell, to be honest. That, the third jump spell connected everything pretty nicely. The golems are still moving forward. Uh, has wizards backing it up. And uh, right here, he goes ahead and drops the last jump spell as they uh, move into these last two compartments, but doesn't even need it, like I said. Uh, has wizards to spare. Just awesome attack crush this base and it's very nice and a fresh hit because you don't have to worry about trap locations you can kind of just ignore giant bombs and stuff and just let your golems and wizards walk through the base and take it out awesome attack to xm all right i think we have two more attacks um let's see here uh number 13 we're looking at what is this? Z maybe a new member. Don't recognize his name that well. Uh, Zethun, something like that. Uh, taking out number 13 and doing it with a nice uh, Queen Walk La Luna attack. Uh, so drops a wizard down to kind of funnel the queen, then drops in these healers on her. Just going to let her start making her entry into the base. Pretty direct, drops a few wall breakers, not, not being too roundabout, just going straight into the base. 
um, the funnel's there, everything's been created very nicely. So nowhere for her to go but into the base as soon as she takes out that dark barracks. Um, has the king to deal with, so is going to have to use a rage on her once she starts entering the base, but no big deal there. Uh, right here, drops it down. She's at full health, even though there's the two-point defense and the king. Uh, she's raged, so the queen, uh, the king goes down quickly. She'll step up and start taking out some of these defenses, and has the nice poison spell to take out the CC troops. All right, um, so th they go down, and then in just a moment, she'll go down to these next two air defenses. Um, so great value for this queen. Just gonna step up, take out the CC troops, and get both these air defenses. Uh, plus, the queen's already been down, so. Uh, awesome value, even gets an expo, I think a wizard tower, so very nice stuff here. Um, or I'm sorry, that was the king she took out. The queen is still up, he's coming in separately for the queen uh, with his kill squad. So right here, as his queen takes out the second air defense, he wall breakers in at the bottom, has a golem out in front tanking, has a jump spell, a few valks even to let uh, to make sure the queen goes down, because those valks are very good at taking out he uh, he heroes. Um, so the, the king will get in there along with the Valks and take out the queen, then step up and get a few more defenses, so very good value there. His queen's still up, making her way around the base. So here comes the Lava Hound attack, uh, drops in two Lava Hounds and then some balloons, just clearing out these buildings, has some nice haste spells, keeping everything moving, and right here that air defense goes down, still has a Lava Hound at almost full health, um, that's just going to walk around the, the raid for the most, of the, or walk around the base for the rest of the attack, really. Uh, but it is out in front for what it's worth. The air sweepers are kind of being a little bit of a nuisance, pushing everything back, but still has one haste left uh, in the bag. Plus, the queen's made her way around, and she is shooting down those last few defenses, even if the balloons, uh, for some reason, couldn't do it. Uh, so, very nice attack here. Uh, last Tesla goes down, and that's a three star. Just have clean up for another 30 seconds. Uh, but, awesome attack to Zeth Hun, I believe it is how I'll say it. Uh, cool attack, fun to watch. Last one is number 17. Um, not Zethan again. Na Nano John on 17. And I think from what I've seen from Nano John, it seems like he's kind of a basic uh, basic attacker. And that's not a bad thing. I'm not, I don't mean that in a bad way. It's actually kind of cool. He se it seems like he's doing uh, pretty much the standard uh, Queen Walk Hog attacks. And it's fun to see someone who tends to stick to one one type of attack because it shows you know they're specialized uh, they know what they're doing uh, with that attack not not necessarily trying to be a jack of all trades just getting in there and doing what he's comfortable with um, I believe I, I see mostly hog attacks from him I can't don't quote me on that but I think that's uh, what I see so anyway sorry about the notification uh, the Queen's coming in here she is taking quite a bit of damage from all this point defense uh, but he has the healers to keep her up and he has the rage uh, so as she enters the this kind of little inlet on the base here she's gonna be at full health because of these healers and the rage um, the one air defense is kind of not in the best spot and I think the healers do get targeted a little bit or maybe maybe they don't No, they, I think they're good yeah uh, but the, the rage is is there long enough to keep the Queen up as she takes out the defensive queen, so it gets very good value for that rage. If you can, try to drop it as late as you can, just because it will last the longest, and that way, if you need it later on, it won't have run out. So, uh, very smart there, dropping a little bit later. Uh, takes out the king with the poison that has the lava hound has to deal with, but um, just as time sink, really. Comes in at the bottom here with these two golems, and then wizards to back everything up. Just going to make his way into the base here. There are these kind of weird double giant bomb possible spots, behind these expos kind of where the little wall uh, pieces are put so it has to get in here and make sure these are neutralized comes in with the king the few golems they're gonna basically just walk right in here and uh, test for giant bombs I love these few hogs here that one cannon is just gonna be sitting there because the kill squad can't reach it uh, so drops in the hogs just get it taken out along with that air defense um, for what it's worth wizards are gonna keep moving forward uh, backing up the king uh, and the two golems has the nice jump spell right here just to connect that next uh, little area because there is another double giant bomb possible spot so really clearing everything out has 16 hogs which he hasn't even deployed yet plus two heals so has a lot of firepower left uh, drops in these hogs right here um, doesn't even have to heal them yet they're not taking any damage the king's tanking the golems are tanking the queen is still up um, triggers that next double giant bomb set uh, so very nice there hogs don't have to deal with it I believe it, three or four of the bombs have been triggered already, uh, so 
pretty much smooth sailing from here on out. Uh, drops in these last few hogs to reinforce with the heal spell and then has one more heal, which he hasn't even deployed yet. The queen is still up doing work. Uh, these last few hogs making their way through. A few Teslas pop, but it doesn't matter. Doesn't even need that last heal, to be honest, but drop, goes ahead and drops it anyway uh, just to keep those hogs at full health. Awesome attack. Crush the space. Very fun to watch. Uh, so good job, Nano John, and I hope I'm right about the, the thing with hogs because it's mainly what I think I see from him, but a lot of three stars, so that's a good thing for sure. Uh, awesome attack, Nano John. Anyway, that's going to do it for this war. Nice long recap, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry about the lack of videos lately. They've been a little bit busy, so I wanted to make sure I showed quite a few. And uh, do have an arranged war coming up, so should have some coverage of that soon. Stay tuned. I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron out.